Hey everybody, this is Jerry Kaziah from the Auto Shop here in beautiful Plano, Texas. Our telephone number, of course, is 972-578-0588. And we've talked in the past about timing belts, and sometimes we get a lot of phone calls about people asking, so where exactly is that in the engine? Well, we just did a timing belt on the vehicle right behind me, and we're doing one on this van this morning. And we've already, our technician has already started dismantling uh, some of the things that he needs to take apart to get to the timing belt to show you the access of it. So what I want to do is point your camera down here. At the, this is underneath the hood of the car. This black piece right here, this is the cover. So all of this, everything in, in way down there, all of the whole front of this engine has to come apart just to be able to access the timing belt. Once we take the timing belt off on this vehicle, because there's some leaks as well, we do a preventative maintenance as well as a required service. We replace the seals that are behind the gears on the timing belt. So you can imagine all of this was all covered up. There's lots of stuff in here. We had to take it all apart just to get to here. And you can see we've got a lot more to go. We've probably got another two hours of work just to get to the point where we can see the timing belt and access the seals. And while we're here, part of the things that we're noticing, if you take a look over there in the corner underneath the hood, look at all those leaves and the debris that's on top of the strut mount. Now what causes that? Ask yourself, what, would, what do you think would put all those leaves there? Yep, rodents. I can't tell you if it's a rat or if it's a squirrel, and I don't really want to know. But I'll tell you, for less than $100, we can make sure that those buggers do not tear up your wiring harness. And why would they tear up your wiring harness? Man, they eat through all kinds of things. And because the wires today, they're no longer made out of the insulation material that they used to make. The insulation material is made out of either a soy-based product or a canola oil-based product, and they think it's food. So save yourself a whole lot of time, trouble, energy, and an insurance money. Have us come in and take care of your rodent problem. Thanks for, oh, by the way, our website, www.theautoshop.com. Come see us. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.